Hi, I'm Brian Green. I am the president of the Finance Council for this year. And uh, many of you know me, um, but maybe didn't know that was my role. I'm excited to uh, tell you that the Finance Council has approved the remaining money uh, necessary to replace the carpets here in the church. Uh, the carpets, as many of you are aware, have become uh, a trip and fall hazard. Um, I think we've had a couple near misses and we don't want to take any chances with people's health. So uh, we're excited to be able to, um, with the help of all of you over the last several years, um, complete this project that has been needed uh, desperately and to bring some new carpet to the church for all of us to enjoy. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for your part in that and tell you that we are focused on not just completing this but continuing uh, as the Finance Council to take care of other projects uh, here at the school and at the church uh, to make sure that we have uh, the parish and school life that everyone uh, wants uh, to be able to enjoy. So thank you so much for your support and I would like to now take a minute to introduce Nora Murphy who has worked tirelessly on this for the last three years as part of the Beautification Committee. Thank you Brian. On behalf of the Beautification Committee uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Finance Committee for um, coming up with the final bit of funding for the church carpet project. And thank you to all the parishioners for supporting this project uh, for the past three years. And um, we're almost there. We're making decisions now as to um, the, the style of the carpet. We're, we've chosen a high quality Millican brand carpet, which should last 20 years or so at least. And we have narrowed down the choices to two choices. Um, both of them are blue, and the blue will pick up the color of the, the altar ceiling and the blue of the stained glass windows here, and also the blue of um, the Lady of Guadalupe's um, um, artistic work in the back of the church. And we would like the parishioners to choose among the two, the, the final choices, and a vote. So we're putting together a, a, a ballot on the website, St. John's website, and you're invited to vote and um, make it clear which of the two finalists you prefer. Uh, we will have this uh, ballot open from Monday until the next Monday, October 5th. And if you're not able to get onto the computer or if you prefer, you can come into the church and there will be um, a voting opportunity out in the, the front hallway there on the Kentucky Street entrance. So thank you again for all the support and for putting this together by um, supporting this project. Uh, we're looking forward to having a very beautiful church for our 100th anniversary of the building. Thank you very much.